What up nerds? In this quick tutorial, we're gonna be covering how to connect your Tableau dashboard to Google Sheets. The Google Sheet we'll be connecting to is for the Tableau Superstore data set, which you can get from Tableau, but I've conveniently brought it into Google Sheets, which I'll also be including a hyperlink uh, in the description below. But for this, it has three separate tabs. The main tab is the orders tab. So all the different orders with sales, profits, and regions. Additionally, it has a tab on returns, so it can correlate the orders uh, that were returned. And then finally, uh, a tab for sales representatives, so that way you can correlate for what regions uh, you have an associated sales rep. This video is part of a series to where we go from connecting to a data source in Google Sheets all the way to building the dashboard in Tableau and finally updating, uploading it on Tableau Public. Um, and for this, we're gonna be putting together this dashboard that tracks the employee performance of different individuals. You can have some different indicators for how they're performing and then also go in and actually narrow it in and see uh, individually how they're performing in each one of these areas. Yeah, before getting into actually importing the data, I just wanted to cover real quick uh, the different data sources that are available by Tableau uh, to import data in. So as you can see, you can actually bring it in from other different uh, data services, so Amazon, uh, Google, uh, or Microsoft, Azure. Uh, so they have a, like, a number of different options available. Google Sheets is just one of the easier options that uh, I feel is um, it's a lot more easier to get access to this type of data, so that's why I'm covering it for this tutorial. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and open a uh, new Tableau worksheet. Now that we have a new Tableau workbook open, uh, we're going to go in and actually connect to the data source. So you have a couple different options that you can actually do it. You could come up to the data tab uh, here, or you can press Command D if you're on a Mac. Um, I like to just go here. Uh, it's pretty uh, convenient for me. Go down to the bottom left, click data source. Then from there, it's gonna give you some options. Um, so you can connect to uh, a file. Uh, we talked about different servers and database before. They have a, a number of different options available for that. But for us, we're gonna just connect it here to uh, Google Sheets. Okay, once you click that, it's gonna prompt you to actually log in. So I'm gonna log in. Uh, with my Google credentials. Um, you will get a notification if you're signed up for it. From there, it shows me all the different data sources that I have available to connect to. Um, I know it's this one up here, Data Nerd Online Store. So I'm going to connect to this one. Okay, so we are now connected to the data source. Uh, the data source itself has three different sheets, which we'll get into, but we mainly can care about this order sheet right here. So we're gonna drag this table over here. What's gonna happen whenever you drag this table over is it's going to populate the data and it's going to populate the fields up here. Um, some things to check whenever, anytime you import data from uh, your data source, just make sure that it is actually importing it as the correct data type. So row ID in this case, yes, I expect it to be a number. Order date, expect it to be a date, yes, it is a date. Um, customer name, yes, I expect it to be a text field and so on. So if you're only ever importing uh, one sheet of data, um, the, this is probably fine for you. But if you ever want to create relationships, say you have multiple sheets and you want to uh, create relationships to them, uh, here's how you actually connect multiple sheets. So uh, for this, I'm going to bring in returns. And for returns, uh, I'll pop it over here real quick. What it has is it has a status of whether the item is returned or not. The order ID, which is also correlated to the order ID on the orders um, columns. And then uh, the market uh, on, uh, on what market it belongs to. So, okay, so I, I know that the order IDs are the two fields that are actually correlated. So I will select both of these and then click 
close. Okay, and do, 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 and yep, so that's good. Okay, so now these are connected. Um, and then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll bring in sales reps, because that's another tab on the Google Sheet. And from here, you can see the sales reps has a list of names and then it has a list of regions. Um, and the regions are listed on the, which is already done and pre-selected for me, on the orders tab, it has a regions and the sales reps has a regions. And so automatically identified that those two are the related uh, data columns. So now um, these are connected. So sales rep and returns tabs are connected to the orders tab and it is all connected. Okay, um, so let's go in. So now that we've connected to our data source, created the relationships, I want to just make sure that the data was uh, brought in correctly and that I've connected it properly. So I'm going to go in and grab our sales rep. So I'm going to grab all the names from our sales reps, put them into the rows column. Um, from here, it's populating all of the different sales reps. Then from there, I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab profit and bring it into the columns. And yeah, so we can see from here, we've obviously brought it in uh, and yeah. We can also break this up by year. So I can take this and uh, put year right here and we can see it by 2016, 17, 18, and 19. Okay, so looks like uh, all of the data was brought in properly. Okay, and that wraps up this series on how to connect your Tableau dashboard to Google Sheets. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you're interested in this type of material, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out a bunch of different content on Tableau, Python, Power BI, whatever it may be related to uh, data sources. Also, if you're interested uh, to continue to follow along, we'll be building this dashboard of the Superstore data set and building a lot of different features and sort of building on a lot of the different skills necessary to operate in Tableau. So if you're interested, make sure you follow along and hope to see you along.